Hello, welcome Hello. back. Hello. We're here again, we've done it. So we thought it's time to do this again. We yeah. have brought in some of our topics again. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still waiting for you to tell us. So do tell us in the comments below if there's anything you want us to show you. Um, some of the new products we've had in, in the last couple of weeks and we're going to talk about the, what the girls have been doing on the blog. Yeah, um, we're going to tell you as well some things that are coming up soon. Um, but first, what have we been up to? Last weekend, um, we were at Go Go Getaway. That was really good. Um, we go there, it's always been twice a year, um, but this year they're doing a third event in June. Um, we take our shop there, so we price everything up, load the van up. It's a lot of prep work, but yeah, it's so much fun. So it's shop. down in Chessant in Hertfordshire, yeah. just off the M25, really easy to get to. Yeah. Beautiful De Vere Hotel. So we had a leisurely journey down with a couple of stops for coffee and um, got there just after midday, didn't we, this yeah, time? Yeah, And um, set-ups, a lot of hard work, but the shop looks fabulous. I don't know whether any of you saw us. We did an Instagram Live, didn't we, on Friday? Yeah, for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was um, quite nerve-wracking. And we weren't very good at it because it all went wrong at first. But we got, we <laughs> got there in the end. When you put Instagram accounts on your phone, you can guarantee you're going to use the wrong yeah, one. So we had started sure, on a personal yeah, one, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, <laughs> make sure you're logged into the right one. Yeah, yeah. speaking from experience. <laughs> but we'll get there. We'll get better each yeah. time, won't yeah. we? Yeah, we're really trying, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. come on, let's have a look at some of these new products that have come okay, in. Okay, fantastic. Right, I'll start. Um, and um, we've had some Bella Boulevard and Illustrated Faith collections in the past few weeks. And there are five Bella Boulevard collections, um, Mom Life, Dad Style, Bug Explorer, Island Escape and Pop Quiz. There's something for everyone, really. So definitely have a look at those on in our new in. Um, Bella Boulevard does seem to be really popular. There are, you know, it's just, it's really usable. Um, and one of the things that we really liked, um, do you want to show them, Sarah? Yeah, these acrylic words. How clearly you can see that. I should have taken it out the acetate, really. They're all different. They're just three ninety nine each. Um, I've just brought a selection in to show you. So different fonts, um, really nice and slim, so they won't bulk out your pages too much. I'll just mm. show you the profile. Can you see? Well, you can barely see, can you? Because it's so thin. So really, mm. really nice usable words. Yeah. They're really nice quality as well. Yeah. I like that you can't see. You know, sometimes with acrylic, you can, the edges look a bit rough where yeah. it's been cut. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, they're really nice and smooth, so we really like those. Um, we had two new collections from Illustrated Faith as well, All People, All Nations and Fruit of the Spirit. Um, obviously, they're aimed at um, faith, you know, scrapbookers and Bible journalers. Um, if that's not something that you're into, I wouldn't discount them. There are a lot of paper designs in there that are... And the embellishments um, as well. Yeah, really they? good for everyday use. I just wanted to show you some sticker books they thought out. So these are part of the Illustrated Faith Basics range. And they're eight ninety nine each, and they're cardstock sticker booklets. Again, you can find them in our new in section. Um, and this one here is just all different words, just pages and pages of words. So if you're into Bible journaling, these are just going to be absolutely fantastic because they're small enough to fit in your margins. Lots of different colours there. And they've brought out an alphabet version as well, which, of course, anyone can use. Yeah, and just going back to these words, like Leanne said, don't discount them just because they're faith journaling. When I'm looking through these, quite a few of them could be used just on general scrapbooking pages. Let's yeah. see. I was looking at them while you were showing it, and now I can't find <laughs> the ones that yeah. I was looking at. Yeah. yeah, there are plenty of words that you could yeah. definitely use on your scrapbooking pages. Yeah, um, and then they've brought out... Um, this clear sticker book too, which is the same sort of thing, just lots of alphabets, lots of different colours, um, and they're a clear sticker as well, so when you put them on a page, they're going to have that sheer look, rather than being a really bold in your face colour, so those will blend really nicely into your pages. Yeah, really nice. The next thing we touched on last time we podcast, um, the new Echo Park range that started to arrive. First one is my personal favourite, Wish Upon a Star, and this is definitely as Disney as they could have got without actually being Disney. Um, some really, really fun designs in there. You can see them all on the front page. And I just, I just picked up one of the 
embellishments from this range. These are little enamel words. How cute are they? Absolutely love them. Really nice, I like those. Again, really nice quality. I'm really happy that we've added Echo Park. I think it just brings yes. something new to the store. I've just um, opened this so we can just have a flick through it and look at some of the designs. So in the six by six pads, they're double-sided papers. Um, and they've been scaled down as well. Yeah, they? they're scaled down 12 by 12 patterns. Obviously the 12 by 12 papers are double-sided as always, but this pad in particular is just gonna be fantastic for, you know, if you've done a Disney trip and you just wanna do a little mini album, just, you know, highlighting some of your favorite moments. So yeah, really good. Really, really cute. Yeah. And on the same vein. Yeah, we've got the um, Echo Park Alice in Wonderland collection. Again, I think this will definitely appeal to Disney fanatics. Um, we were saying when we went to Disneyland Paris a few years ago with the kids, we went in the um, Alice in Wonderland labyrinth um, and this collection would just be fantastic yeah, yeah, for, perfect, you know, right? documenting those photos. So we really like this Brad's pack because the Brad's are really nice quality. They've got the epoxy enamel finish and then you've got the jewel Brad's as well. And then some chipboard stickers. So it's just like a nice little all-in-one embellishment pack there and the six by six pad again i think people will see alice in wonderland and think oh that doesn't appeal to me but and some of the papers are very Super, alice in yeah. wonderland but some some like these are just so pretty and definitely you know usable for every day and even if they're alice on one side they don't tend to be on the other no they? that's so, right yeah some really really nice yeah really nice like these butterflies are lovely so just you know if you like floral butterfly um you know the more nature botanical type papers that's definitely one to look at and the last one isn't so well it is themed i suppose it's more of a summer range uh, good day sunshine and this is definitely for pictures of ice creams and while you're at the beach and just everything summer really I nice wait for the summer so really fun designs yeah. on this i love how you've got these cut apart yeah. scaled down as well they're great for your pages yeah or cards as well greetings cards yeah. i think they're brilliant i really like with that one that even though it's summer it's not too in the pool and at the beach yeah. it's just more general summer you know so it's like ice lollies and really nice florals and little camper vans and you know stuff that's actually actually usable for a British summer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because you know we don't have a lot of tropical weather here. And, no, yeah. That's it. And I picked up the ephemera packs. So all three of these ranges have ephemera packs and brads and things. But we just thought we'd bring a little selection to show you so you can yeah. see these ephemera on the back there. Really yeah. useful, such fun. I, I love ephemera, I use it all the time on all my mm. layouts. I think it's really brilliant. Good. Yeah, it's just so handy just for layering up or just adding a little pop of something. And yeah, yeah, one definitely. of our favorites for sure. Yesterday, yeah. Simple Stories, um, just a very small shipment from Simple Stories with their uh, new planners. So here's the their A5 planners, the color wash. Which I love. That's it's really, just pretty, really, really pretty. They always it? have these little danglies. I think they're so yeah. cute. And inside, really nicely finished. They do do mm. super, super. They're planners. such lovely quality. So their planners come what they call a la carte, which means that um, they just come as the binder, so you can add e inserts of your choice. They are compatible with um, the Filofax A5 size, yeah. so. As long as you choose inserts that are compatible with that size of planner, you know that they're going to work with this. They come really nicely boxed, so they're a lovely gift as well, um, you know, if that's the sort of gift you wanted to give to somebody. And because you just find the binder on its own, if you're halfway through the year and you're like, oh, my cover's a bit tatty, I could really do with a change. replacing yeah. that, but I don't want to start again with new inserts these are a really good option yeah and we sell um several, well several manufacturers do the punches now don't they to match We've yes got and lovely gold die cuts with a view one and yeah carpet the do their own does one. so if you wanted to make your own inserts it's very very easy to yeah. do now speaking um, of inserts mm, they bought out um templates which are just fantastic so you can create your own dividers rather than having to buy theirs we've all got loads of papers lying around so you simply draw around and cut out yeah so i think that's a really good idea yeah. 
They're really good and they're labelled as well, divider one, which is, you know, a tab at the top, divider two, which is the next one down. And yeah, and then you kind of flip them to get the tabs at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Very really clever. clever. It works really well. So that's Carpe Diem, isn't it? And finally, um, Bow Bunny. I know we touched on these last time, didn't we? So um, we've had two ranges from mm -hmm. them. Um, we've had the early bird collection, which is just a really nice spring collection. We've just picked a couple of the papers here to show you. Lovely, you know, primarily pinks mixed with a few other colours. Just really nice, lovely patterns. Um, you know, nothing too um, gimmicky or, you know, it's just re a really nice everyday spring collection. Yes, and it, they're like muted brights, aren't they? They're not as bright yeah, as some of the ranges yeah, that we've seen. They're like a in. pastel, but not too... Not, not too washed, washed out, out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're really nice. So that's one to look at if you want some new spring stash for your collection. And the other one is well Traveller. You can never go wrong with travel collections. These are always very popular for us, I suppose, because we do scrap so many of our mm. holiday photos, don't we? But I love the muted palette of this one. It's not, like I say, we've had a lot of brights in recently, so it's quite nice to have mm. things that are just a little bit toned down. And then you yeah. can always add your colours if you want. So. The good thing about this collection as well is I've noticed it coordinates really well with some other yes. travel collections. So the new Simple Stories travel collection, it goes really well with that. You know, it's a similar colour palette. So yeah. you can definitely add this to your existing travel supplies. And um, the other nice thing is it's not too themed in that you haven't got planes and trains. And quite often in the travel, we do yeah, see a lot of that, yeah. don't we? So yeah, it's more sort of, a, you know, the luggage stamps and tags and yeah. maps, that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, yeah, we are, we're really happy with these Bow Bunny ranges. They've been yeah. good, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, it's so, always good to add something new to the store. Yeah. So we've, um, same as last time, we've chosen some top picks, so just, products that we want to highlight that we think are really nice. So should I go first? Yes, yeah, I'll let you go okay. first. I'll have a drink of my tea. Okay. And um, so last week we had the a new delivery from me and my big ideas of their new Happy Planner products. So that was exciting. Big delivery. Yeah. <laughs> there were always huge yeah. deliveries when they just come. bear with me because I'm just um disassembling <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I just wanted to show you one of the planners. A lot of you will be familiar with the Happy Planner and the way it's set up and formatted, but just for those of you that aren't. So, I've chosen, it's the Life is Beautiful Classic Planner. Um, so, this is an 18-month planner. It starts this July and it runs out in December next year. So, it's definitely got plenty of life in it. So, this is one of their dated planners. So, you don't have to add the date yourself, it's all been done for you. So it, they come with a really thick laminated cover and then they have a cover sheet, just like a this planner belongs to type sheet. It's like being back at school. I know, I love it. <laughs> Put your name in your book. It. Yeah. All of the planners feature foiling. So I'll just show you this first page. So this is the setup for July. So at the beginning of each month, you have this month intro page. Sorry, Sarah, I'm, I'm cutting us both off here. <laughs> it's fine. You have this month intro page, and it's just things like dates to remember, birthdays, any you know notes, any monthly goals that you want to set. And then we have um, the divider. As you can see, this is just absolutely beautiful with the foil in detail, and then the foil tab. And then turning over to the actual diary, so. They always start with a month to view page. So this is just your at a glance, you know, the um, important dates that you want to remember each month. And there's a margin for notes as well. And then turning to the next page, you have a double page spread for each week. So for each day, you know, you've got the days across the top. It's split into three columns. People use these in different ways. You know, some people use them morning, afternoon, night. Some people use one box to um, as like a meal planner box and then one for appointments and then any extra notes at the bottom. So really that's up to you. You can use it in a way that, you know, really fits in with your lifestyle. I was going to say that's how I use mine. I do it for meal planning. So I use the week by week 
we literally plan what we're having for breakfast, what we're having for lunch, what yeah. we're having for tea, because I like to be organised. Yeah. And then the monthly view, we'll put in any important dates that we need to remember. Yeah. That so, They're yeah, just really, really good. good. You can just, you know, completely tailor them to suit you. Each, you know, month has got a really nice divider design. But all of us are slightly different. You know, each one's got the set of the, um, the what would you call it for each month? It's like a summary page, yeah, I guess. Same for birthdays. Yeah, and then again, this this month in January has got the foil divider. Um, yeah, so they're just really, really beautiful. And of course, the, the major selling point about the Mambi planners is the fact that they're completely adaptable. You can just take pages out. You can see it's a disc planner system. So the pages just clip out. You can clip new pages in. There are plenty of packs of note fill paper available. All sorts of inserts. Yeah. They? What they do they do fitness inserts and um, I think they do recipe inserts, don't all they? Sorts. All sorts. And there are things like um, snapping sticky note tablets, um, yeah. dashboards, dividers. Yeah, bookmarks um, yeah. so that you can keep control of where all you are. All sorts of things, yeah. So if you look in you know, to start planning, because the good thing about the Mambi Planner is there's space to stick little photos, yeah. things like that. So you can really kind of use it hand in hand with scrapbooking Definitely. and memory keeping. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we just really, really like them. They, they, they just do what they're supposed to do yeah, really well, really do. you know. Yeah, so. going back to mine, I've got the half um, sheet insert that I use my shopping list each week so I can write down what we're having for the week and then fill in what we need to yeah. buy and it saves waste it's yeah it's yeah. just fabulous it's really good yeah so like that is that. my first pick for this well, week well my first pick is from the latest Amy Tangerine range and it's these cards and they're watercolour resist cards so I'll show you the packet first and then I'll show you Leanne and I had a quick play with them earlier on. So they're all foiled, but they have resist on the around the foiling. And can you see where I've used the um, Jane Davenport pens to colour it in? Let me show you. So I've used these two. Yeah, they're called mermaid markers. They're absolutely they're just fantastic. fabulous. They're brilliant for brush lettering, but also just for doing things like this. So if, oh gosh, this isn't going to be easy <laughs> is it on camera. But I don't know whether, can you see as I colour in, it resists around the gold yeah. foiling so that's one and these mermaid markers are fat because you can blend them really nicely to mm. into each other they are just a, a pre-loaded watercolor brush but they're absolutely fabulous and there's another one and you see all those little dots and then these letters pop out so that you can use it on your page oh i will get better at showing the camera these things <laughs> So um, I'll just go through some of these. So that you get 16 water resist cards. So some of them are these tags. So two of each. I love these ones with the hearts on. So They're very sweet. nice. So there's those ones. And then these uh, ones that are coloured in, a folded card. So almost like little note cards. So mm. that was how it looked before we started messing around with it. They're fantastic for putting hidden journaling on a scrapbooking page as well. This one is really sweet. Leanne, colour some of that in, because look, can you? we can just about see the resist yeah. on it. So it's got, it's like a clear varnish that they've got on them, so it doesn't show up well on camera, but... Yeah, so hidden journaling. Yeah, you when you see it all close, you can, you can see where the... Um, the resist has been applied. And then there's the die cut one that we played with and this one the resist says my heart burst and it's got little star bears coming out of have you got um one of these so this is it before and then you'll see when you apply the paint this is the effect that it gives and you could do all sorts of washes on that, couldn't you? you yeah. Could like hundreds of different colours or just keep it nice yeah. and plain like that. Really beautiful. Really, really, yeah. really cute. So, I, yeah, I do like those very much. They're very nice. And um, so I'm going to show you some stamp sets here um, from Heidi Slot. They're part of the Hawthorne collection. I think we touched on the Hawthorne collection we last did, time. We did, yeah. We'd really, really like that. stickers I wanted to show you. 
I just think these stamps are just such good value just for the size of them and what you're getting and how adaptable they are. I think it's how they work. It can get lost, can't it, how they actually work? Yeah. Because it just looks like a sheet of stamps. Yeah. But when you see this, it's yeah. just so clever. So these are 3 99 um, and there's two different sets in the collection. So you can see here, it, it's the set of clear stamps. They're really nice and usable. But the good thing about these is that you can layer them on an acrylic block to create your own custom stamp. So you can see here, they've used this frame here and then some of these curved phrases and then a date in the middle just to create a custom, it's like a seal stamp. A three ninety nine. That's amazing. It? And you can just, you can mix and match them, you know, to, you can put the little picture icons in the middle, you've got the different frames. And then the other set is a similar sort of thing. Um, so again, it's a clear stamp set. And then on the back, you can see some examples of stamps that have been grouped together to create a custom stamp. So those are just really fantastic, really versatile. You can see next to my hand there, just such an amazing size, yeah, aren't they, yeah. for the money? Three ninety nine, and they're they good quality as well. They're really they nice. Are. Going yeah. back years, they uh, seven gypsies used to do around self thinking stamp, didn't they? And it was about eight pounds yeah. per stamp. I where remember. There are so many different permutations using yeah. those. I had a set really similar to this years and years ago from Autumn Leaves. Yes, and it was the same. And I think even oh, back pounds, then. I've got thirteen ninety nine oh, in my yeah, head, but I think they did yeah, different they did sizes. Different sets, yeah. yeah, some had two sheets, some had one. But that's probably going back. I'm thinking the kids were tiny when they were out, so I'm probably thinking, nine or ten years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so for three ninety nine, they are just absolutely amazing. You can't go wrong. Yeah, it's something that American crafts do really well. They're standard, yeah. so the price point is just Definitely. fantastic, isn't it? Right, my next, I've got um, stick books next. So the first one I wanted to show you is Me and My Big Ideas. I think they started out as a scrapbooking company and they're so well known now for their planners that sometimes their scrapbooking products get left behind. These sticker books are only 4 99 and they have lots of different sheets in there, clear stickers. Um, let me show you the back first so that you can see all the different, so you get six sheets, there's an alphabet and there are all sorts of different phrases. I do a lot of um, pocket page scrapbooking, so almost like Project Life. And these are just perfect for adding onto your photos or adding onto your cards, but equally they could be used on layouts as well. I think mm. they're just amazing. For 4 99 yeah. they have hundreds of different themes. Um, they have some alphabet books, just alphabets as well. But yeah, definitely well mm. worth a look in the Me and My Big Ideas section yeah. of our website. Yeah. I love those that you can just stick one straight onto a photo and it just completely blends, blends in. in with the photo. Yeah, yeah. really, yeah. really clever, really good. Oh gosh, I'm all fingers and thumbs today, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but yeah, love that. Really, really nice. Um, I am going to show you these um, acrylic stickers from My Mind's Eye. They're from their Bliss collection, which is um, kind of a wedding theme range, but I don't think these are necessarily just for wedding scrapbooking. I just wanted to show them you because they're just so beautiful in real life and on the screen they look like nothing. It's going to show you up close so you can see they're like a mirrored acrylic sticker. They're yeah, just so they've got gold foiling on the back. Haven't yeah, they? they're, acrylic and it they're just, just yeah. absolutely stunning. You can see the edges. They're just really nicely finished. But just one of those on a page or a card just makes all the difference. It just makes it look extra special. And um, so these retail for $5.99, but I think for the quality of them and just for getting something completely different, and when you consider that they are solid acrylic words, mm. I think that that's a really, really good, good price. Value. Yeah, really, yeah. really good value. And they look so beautiful on paper. They look I've really, really before. pretty. They probably don't even look on camera as nice as they look in real life. Just really ref reflective and beautiful. So my last pick today is the American Craft Sticker Books. Um, a lot of the designers, I think Jen Hadfield, Heidi Swap, Shamel, Dear Lizzie, Amy Tan, have bought out these sticker books and they are absolutely amazing value. They have, I forget how many, 30, 30. sheets. 30 sheets and they're 19 99 so that's less than a pound a sheet. Here are the design, some of the designs on the back and I'll just flip through but they're just amazing to add dimension to your pages to add to your greetings cards I just love them I think when they first came in we worked them out about I think it was 66 pence a sheet that that's right out. yeah 
which when you consider that you know some of them are foiled uh, yeah and they're, they're just... really slim line as well they're not like the sticker sheets that you get with the ranges they're um, paper thin so they'll look yeah. really nice and flat and they're matte so they don't have that shine I just think they're such good quality I absolutely love them yeah that one's foiled really stars and, yeah. <laughs> another good thing about those is uh, there aren't any duplicates yeah so sometimes with sticker books you'll get 30 sheets but it might only be 10 different designs this you're getting 30 different yeah. sheets of stickers and they have foiling and some of them yeah. are clear and yeah they're just amazing amazing really really nice and um, well worth a look you could always split them with a friend as well if you didn't want to spend that much on a book of stickers. Yeah. You just have to fight over who's... I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they're absolutely fantastic. And they're available um, in lots of different designs. All of the American Crafts designers have bought one out. So there's Dear Lizzie, Amy Tan, Heidi Swart, Vicky yeah. Beauty, Jen Hadfield. Yeah. Who's yeah. a miss? I don't want to miss anyone else. Paige. <laughs> yeah. Maggie Holmes. Yeah. Um, I'm still yeah, <laughs> Chamel, of course. So Sarah's showing you now, um, and there's a one canoe two one, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're all very, very different as well. So yeah, um, nice thing yeah. to collect. Yeah. So if you're, you know, a big fan of Chamel's paper collections, you need definitely need to add this because it kind of ties in with Chamel's designs, yes. doesn't it? So yeah. you can use it with her collections and it'll all, you know, mesh together really nicely. I cannot believe it. it's taken me all this time. That's the last one. Yeah. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Yeah. Really, really nice. So I think we were going to talk about Oh what the girls have been doing on the yeah, blog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some blog posts. So since our last video there have been four new posts on the blog. We say this time and time again please go and have a look and check them out. The girls just work, you know, amazingly hard just to bring you designs with the newest papers and... Um, and different ideas as well. They're yeah, so clever. it's just really good to get inspiration. So um, first up was Jen. She's done three layouts using the My Mind's Eye Blast Off collection. Um, we love Jen scrapping because she's just... She really makes good use of papers. Yeah. She uses a lot of pattern paper, so pattern paper backgrounds. You know, she makes a lot of her embellishments out of paper. Um, it just lots of layers of yeah. yeah really she making the most of them. Yeah. Isn't she? yeah. So I just wanted to show you the papers in this collection because again, they do not translate well. Just look at that foil. Holographic foil. Absolutely it, <laughs> amazing. So this is my mind's eye blast off. Um, and just the foiling is just so beautiful on it. Just really, really nice quality. So nice to get away from brown for boys as well, isn't yeah. it? So yeah. Nice little boys range. Yeah, definitely. Or girls. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah not discounting anybody. <laughs> yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah. Really nice. So if you've got kids that are into, you know, space and want to be an astronaut when they grow up, and that's the phase they're going through, this will be absolutely fantastic. And yeah. That. Brilliant. Um, the next one was Jackie and she worked with Bay Bunny Stay A While and what I loved about Jackie's pages uh, is that she scraps a lot of everyday life. She doesn't necessarily focus on people so I think one of the pages was about going for coffee wasn't it and she had a picture of her Starbucks and one of them was, was it the snow that yeah, we had? Yeah that's right. So just a picture of her garden and I love that that she's showing you you don't always have to scrap the people in your life it's important to document just what's going yeah. on, just what you're doing every day. Yeah. Because your children will want to know that in the future, won't they? Yeah. They'll want to know what life was like. Absolutely. And I think that these papers definitely lend themselves to everyday scrapbooking. Yeah, yeah, um, really. You know, the colour palette could work for, you know, masculine or feminine layouts. Yeah, um, that's it's my just really, Yeah, I love that. I love this herring though. It's just um, really versatile. Yeah. yeah. Great, and then Sheena was up using Pink Paisley Confetti Wishes and there are two layouts. And uh, The first layout, she focuses on this sentiments paper and it's a really beautiful page if you go and have a look at it. And she's cut these sentiments into strips and done stitching over them, machine stitching I think it was. So definitely go and have a look at that. It's a really good idea for using this paper um, and that's just on the back of the candle paper. Um, and I just wanted to pull out another couple of papers. 
I think because it's a birthday collection, Confetti Wishes, a lot of people think, oh well, I don't want any birthday stuff, so I'm not going to have a look at it. But when you look at these, like some of the papers are really on trend at the moment with the marbling effect. We've got this one, which is like the blue green ombre. Um, so even if collections are, you know, they appear to be themed, definitely go and have a look. We sell papers in single sheets, so you can just go in and cherry pick yeah. papers that will work well with, you know, the rest of your stash or a project that you've got in mind. So those are really lovely papers. Definitely, and that's the point, the thing you see more and more, there's definitely a colour theme, isn't there, each release. So yeah. the January releases more or less do all gel really well together, don't they you? Really if you see do. pinks, the manufacturers tend to stick to the same kinds of pinks or the same tones. Yeah. So don't be afraid that yeah. they're not going to match. They do work really yeah. well together. And then while we were talking about this collection, I just wanted to highlight these stickers because they're just really, really lovely. They're gold foil. But I don't know if you can see this one sheet's got like a hot pink core, foam core, and then the other sheet's got like an aqua core. So they give a really nice effect on the page because you you can see, you know, the dimension of them. Um, they're just really nice. I, you know, you could use those on cards, layouts or anything like that. Yeah, really, really pretty. So um, lastly on the blog, Sam was working with Webster's The Good Life. So I just picked up a couple of pieces of paper to show you here. So these are new when we're in the past couple of weeks, aren't yeah. they? Um, yeah. Yeah, I love Webster's pages. I'm so happy that they've started doing their papers again. So um, there aren't really a lot of embellishments in their range, are there? They have a sticker no. sheet, so I've just brought that to show you with the alphabets and things on. But what Sam's shown is that um, you really don't need a lot of embellishments if a range doesn't have them. You can fussy cut the papers to create your own die cuts or use the sticker sheet. And she's also shown on her post how other ranges will blend really nicely with them. Yeah, she? yeah. So I think she's used the wood veneer frames from the new Maggie Holmes collection. Yeah. Flourish. Yeah, so um, take a look. Yeah, go and have a look at that. So yeah, two yeah. layouts from Sam there. Absolutely lovely. And while we're on Webster's pages, I also brought in the other range, My Happy Place. Again, I just picked out a couple of pages to show. So you can see there. Just oh, really just gorgeous colours. So nice to see papers from Webster's again, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's been really a couple is. of years, I think. And they're the backs. They, they do some really good backing paper. I love these for um, using as my base for my layout. You know, yeah. they're really, really nice. And again, the sticker sheet, which just shows off the entire mm -hmm. collection. That's just brilliant. So, yeah, do go over, check out the blog, see what the girls have been up to. Mm -hmm. Like Leanne said, they work so very hard and their talent is just amazing. So, yeah, you must go and have a look. We mm -hmm. love it. Fantastic. So, we've got some products coming in soon. Um, last video, we talked about the Crate and Pink Paisley. As far as we're aware, those are still due in April. Um, so, keep an eye out for those. If you're on our newsletter, we will, of course, send an email out. If you're not on our newsletter, go to our homepage. There's a box there where you can just pop your email address in and you'll be added to that. And we just um, send emails, you know, when there's anything we want to highlight, when we've got any special offers or any new collections that we think you'd like to know about. Yeah. Um, the other one that's coming is Simple Stories. We've got quite a big delivery of Simple Stories coming yes. in the next few weeks, haven't we? They've got um, a Bloom range, which is a continuation. They did Carpe Diem Bloom. Um, for the planners and they're doing a, a beautiful scrapbooking range we saw that in January yeah didn't we? yeah um good vibes is another one of theirs I think we've had quite a few good vibes ranges I think we? we've got three good vibes <laughs> yeah. collections at the moment it's so. definitely a popular phrase yeah um hello summer and oh baby so yeah. another cute baby range which would be yeah. nice yeah um I think we've got other bits and bobs coming but yeah we'll definitely keep you posted best thing to do keep checking the new in section there are filters down the left hand side so you can just highlight the brands or collections that you're interested in looking at but in the new in section you can just browse everything that we've had in from this um release since creativation all in one place so yeah yeah perfect isn't it go for it so I think that's all we've got to show you. Um, we have got a special offer that's just gone up today on the website. We're going to be um, sending an email out about that later, aren't we? Yeah. For Dear Lizzie's Stargazer range, which was released last summer. It's an absolutely beautiful range and um, we've still got plenty of it left. So we decided to do a decent discount to try and 
um, reduce the quantity that we've got a little bit to make room for all this other beautiful stuff that's yeah, coming. Yeah, so definitely. It's an amazing 40% yeah. off. So do go and take a look at that because it's just stunning. There is some little, I was talking about this earlier, wasn't there? Glitter stars with ribbons coming down from it. Yeah, it's really so pretty. Cute. Yeah. Uh, dimensional, I just love those. And the papers are all yeah. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And that offer ends at 10 p.m. Monday, the 2nd of April. So bank holiday Monday. So we'll let the offer run until then. Mm -hmm. um, we're going on holiday <laughs> next week. Oh, we're so excited. Yeah, we're about that, yeah. we? <laughs> we're going on holiday. So we won't be doing a video in two weeks' time, but we'll try and do one the week after we get back. Um, we will be at sea on a cruise. Yes. We will not be answering emails. <laughs> it's the first time in a long time that we've closed, 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 isn't it? Definitely. And we're, so excited. We're, like yeah. the answer. we're not going to have internet access at sea. We're going on a beautiful cruise mm. to Portugal and Spain and France. And yeah. the kids are really excited. Our husbands are excited. And it's just going to be lovely downtime for all of us. So. Yeah, it is. So we'll be away for a week. But we'll send more details out about that next week. Um, so we will close next week. The website will remain open of course as usual we're here um, until thursday aren't we so i think we're taking orders till um next thursday um, first of the 5th of april 10 a.m so if you need an order to arrive um before then you know get your order in any that are placed after 10 a.m thursday the 5th of april we will not be processing those until we get back which i think monday. is monday the 16th of april that's the day that we come yeah Back, back in here yeah nice and refreshed and ready to go <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so all that remains to say is happy easter yes happy we easter hope you enjoy us. some family time yeah enjoy your break hope you can enjoy the bank holidays i hope you're all gonna get some downtime i hope the weather clears up a little bit because i looked yeah. at my phone and it says rain 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 so uh, <laughs> what? who knows it might change it yeah. might change but um thank you all so much again for watching we yeah. really appreciate you joining us and do Leave us any comments down below what you'd like to see yeah. or any ideas that you yeah. might have for future podcasts. Yeah. And we tried to do this last time. We'll put links down below with any products or offers that we mentioned. So definitely have a look in the description box um, if there's anything that you're interested in seeing more of. So that's it. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.